We welcome you in here to Harris Field where Belmont taking on Winchester, looking for their first win of the year. Welcome to Belmont Media Center's broadcast of the football game here. You are watching this on Channel 9 on Belmont Comcast, Channel 29 on Verizon. You can watch this also on Belmont mediacenter.org slash public TV. It's also on Apple TV via the Belmont Media Center app. About ready to get going here. Jack Townsend will be kicking off for Belmont. Winchester receiving the ball first. Winchester has a 2-1 and one record, winning two straight games, one on home, one on the road. And we are underway. Townsend kicks it off. Return is not going to be taken. It's actually a flag for legal kickoff out of bounds. Winchester will start at the 40. So defensive field position. Defense was got a little bit roughed up last week, giving up 47 points, but looking to hold strong here like they did. They didn't allow a single point in the th first three quarters of the last home game. So looking to replicate that here this week. They can get a win here, it really turns your season around. One game, you win, it gets all the momentum forwards. Looking to build on something here today. Winchester starts, running back to the left, two receivers on the top, two on the bottom. High snap, gonna look to throw to the outside, it's a screen, looking for a block, and then a good tackle on the sideline by Demir Neal. Little to no gain on the play. Belmont's defense with a good start to this one. So it'll be second and ten for Winchester. Same similar formation here for Winchester. One receiver on the top, two on the bottom. Gonna look to hand it off for the first time today. This is a solid run on first down. That's Gianni Giprimio. They will really rely on him on this offense like they have the last couple weeks. It's really turned their season around after season opening loss. So now third down for Winchester. Belmont set up pretty well here even after the flag on the kickoff for the illegal kickoff out of bounds. It'll be a third and five for Winchester. The premio to the right of the quarterback, three receivers on the bottom, none on the top. Likely a crossing pattern here on third down. Winchester takes the snap. O'Connell's going to look to run. The quarterback to the outside. He's going to get a first down, and off he goes. O'Connell is going to take it all the way, and Winchester jumps on the board first here today. O'Connell takes it the distance on a third and medium quarterback draw to the outside, and Belmont did not touch him. So the extra point is next. Winchester with a strong start to this one. Not what Belmont was looking for, but if their offense can get going, they'll look to answer that quickly. O'Connell, quarterback, he runs a fair amount three or four times a game, but we might see more of that after the success on the opening try. Extra point on its way. It is up and it is good. So it's seven nothing Winchester in an instant. Belmont coming from behind. Haven't had success doing that yet, but something will change here in this one. It's all about taking that lead. Belmont has not gotten off to a lead yet this season. If you can get out to a lead and you're looking at an upset for the other side, then Really get this train rolling in the right direction. Belmont will get it back. Getting Kyle Curtis back after he was injured in week one, along with starting quarterback Lucas Cadet. Wyatt Scalfani had been playing quarterback, even though he is a receiver, for the last couple weeks, but he is injured here today. So good thing you got Kyle Curtis back at quarterback. Belmont will return. Lincoln Correa and Casey Reagan back deep. It's a line drive, it's over the head of everybody and bounces through the end zone for a touchback. So Belmont's offense coming on in the field. See what we get this week with Kyle Curtis. He came in for a few possessions in week one, but really didn't get a great look at him yet so far. 
He'll lead the offense here in this one. Belmont down 7 nothing. Just 30 seconds in the ball game. Curtis will line up with Reagan in the backfield. Hendrickson's on the bottom. Pierre out top. Two running backs in for Belmont. Curtis takes the snap. He's going to look to throw. Going to launch one to the outside. Catch made. But a good tackle from Winchester. Just a gain of a yard or two. And it'll be second and long for Belmont. See what we get with the run game. They had been using a lot of jet touch passes to Amir Malinwa, who's out today. Andre Chavushian as well. Casey Reagan being the starting running back in this one. It's also a receiving threat, but likely limited in that regard in this one. Curtis takes the snap. He's going to hand it off to the outside, looking for a block. Breaking towards the corner. Winchester has him behind the line. Belmont wants a flag there, but not going to get it. It'll be third down. Damien Lula there. Now third down and long. Belmont looking for more success than they've had. It's really just picking up that opening first down. That's been trouble for this team. Once they get downhill, they've been more effective. See what they run on third and nine. Lula and Casey Reagan both in the backfield. Pierre on top. Hendrickson on the bottom. Feels like they have to throw it here in some form. Curtis will throw. He's looking for Hendrickson over the middle of the field. And he's broken up and complete at the 30-yard line. So Belmont's going to go three and out to open the game, assuming they send on the punting unit, which they will. So not what Belmont was looking for to open this one. Hoping to come back from that opening touchdown from Winchester. Starts with the defense really locking in. Getting some stops, giving the offense a chance. Gave him a chance here, but down seven, nothing. It's not a good feeling for the offense. Jack Townsend will punt it away for the Marauders. Belmont trailing 7-0 early in the first. Townsend boots it. A pretty good punt at around the 40. Winchester will return it. Looking for the outside. Getting a couple of blocks. Breaking near midfield. The punting unit was a sign of trouble for Belmont in week one. Remember, they gave up two punt return touchdowns. Got them behind early in that one as well. Ronan O'Connell and the Winchester offense back onto the field. High snap on the opening play of the drive. It's way back there, back inside the 30-yard line. So we take a look at what happened here on a high snap. Quarterback wasn't expecting, it seemed. They're going to lose at least 10 on that one. So second and very long, exactly what Belmont was looking for to open this defensive possession. Premio is the back. He's behind the quarterback, O'Connell. One receiver on the bottom. Two on the top. Going to hand it off to the Premio. Looking for a block. Has it. But now he breaks a tackle of Neal and then breaks near the 40-yard line. So the Premio making something out of nothing. Trying to get Winchester back in front of the sticks. So they'll give him a third and about 13 here. Belmont trying to stand tall in what felt like a free po possession after that bad snap to open it. Got to avoid giving up a deep shot here. Wouldn't be surprised if Winchester just handed this football off. 
Premio, one of their best players. Gonna look to throw here. Gonna look deep, and it's over the head of everybody. It was deflected and incomplete. Put it right on the hands of the receiver. As there's about seven and a half left here in this first quarter, Belmont likely getting the ball back. Casey Reagan is back deep for Belmont. You never know, he's had some promising returns early this season. Give him a good field position, try to kickstart this offense. Punt is good, line drive at about the 35 where it bounces inside the 25 to the 20, 15, all the way inside the 10 and down to the five. An amazing punt for Winchester. And Belmont will have to start inside their own 10. And now it's just about getting it out of the end zone, giving your defense a chance if you do have to punt. First down for if you'd like to volunteer to be on Belmont Media, send an email to access.belmontmedia.org. Belmont starting at their own five. Kyle Curtis, You've got Hendrickson one on one, could be a deep shot type guy, can win one on one. Two running backs are in, hand it off to Leela, looking for the corner, makes a cut, gets to about the eight, and it'll be second and seven, that's a solid play to get you out of your own end zone. Leela, one of the f captains of this team, Getting a higher role with all the injuries on this offense here in this one. We see them play two running backs a lot early with Reagan and Leela. Seven minutes to go, first quarter, Belmont trailing 7-0. Pierre and Hendrickson consistently, the two receivers. One on the bottom, one on the top. Hand it off to Reagan. Maybe a yard there. Winchester, good run defense on the first two plays of this one. And it'll be third down for Belmont. This is a big play right here. If you get a first down, even if you don't go all the way down and get points, you're setting up your punting unit and your defense for success. If you're not, if you're just going to go three and out after that amazing punt, you're really setting Winchester up with great field position, likely inside Belmont territory. So this third and seven, massive. Lula is the back. Reagan moves in at receiver. Curtis gonna roll out in his own end zone, just tosses it up. Leela makes the catch and the ball is incomplete. Had it on his hands, it was forced out. Winchester with great coverage on the play. They're gonna get the ball back after Belmont goes three and out for the second time. Now you need Jack Townsend, your punter, to give you an answer back to that great Winchester punt. Getting one past midfield would be a success from this field position with Townsend punting from his own end zone. It's good for Belmont's offense not to turn the ball over there, but not what they were looking for, only getting three yards total. Townsend's back, ready to punt. Need a good snap on this, you get it. Townsend punts it away. It'll land at about the 40 where Winchester will return it. And look out, the premio's on the near side. Inside the 25 and down to the 20. There is mu there are multiple flags down. As we take a look at what happened on this one. Flags were coming in as DePremio was making his move to the sideline. Belmont has to hope this is going the other way. It's going to be a hold on Winchester. So a little better field position, but not great. Belmont, Belmont's defense has to cover, likely be about 35 yards. Defending Winchester from the Belmont end zone. Both flags being on Winchester. It's great for Belmont, move them back. Legal block in the back and the hold. Spots them at the 37.
Most of the players on the field wearing pink for Winchester. Breast Cancer Awareness Month. The Premier was not in the backfield to open this possession. Looking for a better snap than open their last possession. Two receivers on top, none on the bottom. Snap taken, gonna hand it off. Belmont is there immediately, and that's David Maya wrapping Winchester up at the 40. Loss of two on the play, and second and long next for Winchester. See if they bring the DePremio back in. He was on the punt return, have not seen him on offense since then. It's a key player for Winchester. I like to feed him over half the plays. Second and long. QB draw all the way. The first one went for a touchdown. This one is going for near nothing. Belmont was there up the middle. And it'll be third and medium. Five and a half left in the first as there is a flag down. And it's picked up. So it'll be third and medium. This broadcast brought to you by Belmont Media Center. Channel 9 on Comcast. Channel 29 on Verizon. You can also watch this broadcast on... Apple TV via the Belmont Media Center app. It's a third and long for Winchester. Belmont has them out of field goal range at the moment. Looking for negative gain here. Looking to throw again. Rolling to the outside. He will scramble and gets drilled. Belmont was all over him at the 37 and their defense holds even with the awful field position. Belmont corralling the quarterback and see what Winchester elects to do here. They send on their punting unit, looks like they will. Reagan is back deep for Belmont. This is another chance for the punter. He pinned one anyway from his own territory. Now he's spotted up at the Belmont logo at center center field another high snap for Winchester at about the 40 he's gonna try and run now at his own 45 Belmont is there Elijah Pierre the first one to the punter and Belmont gets it in great field position on the another high snap for Winchester their second of the game exactly the positive momentum that Belmont was looking for after that opening touchdown they finally find it and now one long run one or one deep ball away from tying this football game up so two high snaps maybe the biggest plays of the game for Belmont in terms of field position, Lincoln Correa is the back. Hendrickson's on the bottom. Reagan's in at receiver, Pierre is two. And it's first and 10 for Kyle Curtis in the offense. Gonna look to throw, Curtis rolling out to his right. And he is sacked. The football may have come out at the line of scrimmage, but it's a little no gain for Belmont. Second and long now. <coughs> it's been all too much of a habit for Belmont getting behind the sticks early in drives. <coughs> happens to him again here. It'll be second and 12 for the Marauders. <coughs> Curtis has Correa behind him. We see a rotation of running backs. Correa looking like he's the guy on this drive. Reagan goes in motion. Curtis takes the snap, hands it off to Lincoln, and he is going way backwards at his own 45. Winchester has another TFL early in this one. With just three minutes left in the first quarter, it'll be a third and long for Belmont. Third down and 15 for the Belmont 
Call it a third and 15. Now behind midfield, Ford Progress made that not as much of a negative play as it would normally be. Correa is the back. Third and 15. Reagan and Hendrickson on the bottom. Curtis has pressure on immediately. And Curtis just has to avoid a sack. Rolls out to his right. Curtis is looking to lob one down the field. And it is intercepted. Winchester has it. Running the other way. And run. Hendrickson takes him down at the 35. But Winchester gets the pick. Really an arm punt there for Belmont. So Winchester gets it at their own 35. Curtis avoiding a the sack there. You don't know if the punt would have been that much better field position for the defense as it is right now. Belmont's still looking for their first first down of the game. Defense, strong position, last position. Looking to recreate it here. Likely the last possession of the first quarter with 2.09 left in the quarter. Connell takes the snap, throws it to the outside. Catch made, leads him in stride at the f at the 44-yard line. Positive gain there. It'll be second and medium for Winchester. Clock ticking under a minute 50 in the first. The throw is incomplete. Makes it a third and three for the red and black of Winchester. Order defense looking to hold. It's the big plays that have haunted them here at home this season, and it was the O'Connell touchdown run. Explains the score, seven nothing Winchester. Haven't used as much to premio the last couple drives. O'Connell is going to run. We've seen that a couple times already, and O'Connell has the sideline. A first down for Winchester into Belmont territory. And first down for the Red and Black. So a new set of downs for the Winchester offense. I'd expect more running here now that they're in Belmont territory. Gianni DiPremio has returned to the backfield. Don't know if he was just taking a possession off. Last drive, so first down and 10. With a minute left in the first quarter. Man in motion coming to the bottom. Nobody goes with him, and DePremio has it. DePremio breaking to the near side. Breaks another tackle of Pierre. DePremio is inside the 20, and he's all the way down near the 15. Gianni DePremio has been the best player on this Winchester offense. That's exactly what they've seen the last couple weeks. That big run there, putting Winchester inside the red zone. So Winchester with just 52 seconds left in the first quarter. Playing with the lead. Playing with an amazing running back and Johnny DePremio. O'Connell takes the snap. Man, he hands it off to DePremio. To the left side and Belmont, a great tackle there. Casey Reagan came flying in and made the play. A loss of yards there will be second and long as we near the end of this first quarter. Winchester only needs one or two more plays to tick down to the first quarter end. You got one on one at the bottom with Pierre having the coverage, Neil having coverage on the top side. O'Connell, gonna fake it. He's rolling to the near side, throws caught inside the 10. And a flag's down as he gets all the way inside near the five yard line. Check the flag. Came after the catch, so 
See if this is an illegal block in the back or a hold or something that would help Belmont. And it's an offensive pass interference on Winchester. Offensive pass interference on Winchester. So a push off there negates the play and will be second down. If you can hold even to a field goal attempt, you never know with these kickers if nothing's really a chip shot, especially if you get them outside the 20. There's 22 seconds to go in the first quarter. I'd like the last play coming up as Winchester's going to move back. Ball planted at the 35-yard line, so. Second and long for Winchester here. Last play of the quarter, if this one stays in bounds. High snap, O'Connell's gonna run. O'Connell, ducks inside. It's at the 30-yard line. Whistle on the play, let's see. O'Connell help to his feet. This is going to bring us to the end of the first quarter. Welcome you back in here. Second quarter of play. Harris Field. Belmont down 7-0. Defense trying to hold after that initial touchdown from Winchester. Belmont's defense has been strong. But Winchester the interception and now inside the Belmont 30. Connell's going to look to throw. He's going long into the end zone. Jump ball. Who has it? Winchester has it. Touchdown, red and black. Winchester gets the big play. Two of them on that drive after the interception. And Winchester's going to jump out to a 13-0 lead pending the extra point. An amazing catch there in the corner of the end zone. It was one-on-one. -on -one. Could have been a pick, could have been a touchdown. Winchester came away with it. And if the extra point goes in, it's 14-0 Winchester. Extra point on its way, and it is good. So it's 14-0 Winchester. Two big plays on the drive, and on the first play of the second quarter, it's a touchdown for Winchester. Second quarter action here at Harris Field. Just eight seconds in, Winchester scores their second touchdown. Belmont will receive, really just trying to get rolling offensively, looking for their first first down of the day. Once they get that though, seems like Belmont's offense has thrived past midfield. They had a chance earlier after the mishandled punt. Two bad snaps from Winchester hasn't mattered early. Winchester will kick off. Belmont will receive, and away it goes. A short boot inside the 20, and a sliding attempt and the recovery by Reagan. Belmont will start at their own 20. Kyle Curtis coming back on the field, trailing 14 to nothing. Belmont returning to start the second half. You get one touchdown, you do go for two. You're down 14 nothing right now, but two possessions, especially returning to start the second half, you could tie this game up. Starts right here though with the first and 10. Reagan and Leela back to the backfield. We've seen a rotation of running backs early. They're gonna hand it off to Reagan who cuts to the middle. Solid run, two or three for Reagan. Now it's second down. Coming up on 11 and a half left. I'm not looking for their first win of the season. about the big plays for Winchester offensively.
getting the interception. Didn't feel that important at the time that it was a pick instead of a punt. Winchester capitalized with a touchdown. They lead 14-0 over Belmont. Two running backs in. Kind of a triangle formation for the Marauders. Curtis going to roll out to the outside. Curtis looking for the corner and he picks up maybe a yard. Seemed as if that was a designed play, but blocking did not develop well enough for Belmont to turn that into a first down. They'll have third down. Third and ten for the Marauders. Curtis comes back on. It's really just been about getting that big plate to connect for Belmont. We haven't seen them take too many deep balls this season, but the lack of a quarterback explains that. Have Kyle Curtis back now, so you have the ability to go deep. Curtis is just going to hand it off to Reagan, looking for a block. Winchester is there, and Reagan gets popped at the 23. So Belmont goes three and out for the third time. And Winchester will return, likely a punt for Belmont. Winchester sending their running back, Gianni DePremio, back to receive the punt. He's lined up at his own 44. Townsend will punt from his own 10. Townsend takes the snap, punts it away, a line drive kick. The premium is not going to return this one. Rolling inside the 30 and bouncing out of bounds at the 20. So a good punt there from Jack Townsend. Belmont needs special teams to go right if they're going to come back in this one. Belmont's in their defense back onto the field after a rough possession previously. It was the, the Premio's big run and the deep ball for the touchdown. Really just an excellent play design on the touchdown from Winchester. Send one receiver in. Kind of a wheel route for the other guy coming down in the end zone with the jump ball. So O'Connell Again at quarterback for Winchester. Two receivers on the top, two on the bottom, one in front of the other. And hand it off to the outside, coming into the near side. Past the 30, turning it upfield, past the 40, making a jump cut. And Winchester way inside the 40, inside the 30, the 20, the 10, and he's dragged out of bounds there. The backup running back for Winchester taking it down to the 10 of Belmont. That was an excellent run there. The jump cut at midfield. Inside the red zone again. Belmont not ha didn't have bad coverage on the play. I mean, he got off to the strong start to it. Really had to break a couple of tackles. It wasn't like he was walking down in the Belmont 10. Good to rally for the ball by Damian Leela. Watch out for the QB run here. They're just going to hand it off. And Winchester will walk in for another touchdown. Their third of the first half. There's 8.45 left in the second quarter. It is now 20 to nothing Winchester. It was a great option design there. Extra point to make it 21 to nothing. On its way. And it is good. Winchester goes up 21 zip. Thunder nine minutes left in the first half. Oh. 
Belmont's had to play from behind all season. Haven't been able to capitalize comebacks. Last home game here went down 14-0 late and rallied for a touchdown and a two. Couldn't get the onside kick in that one. Looking for a similar rally. Still plenty of time left in this game. Winchester will kick it away. Ball planted at the 40 and it's kick off to about the 10. Lincoln Correa will return it to the near side. Correa takes it. Still fighting at the 30 yard line. So 10 yards better field position than they had last drive. It's the offense back on for the Marauders. Say so for Belmont, you're looking to get the run game going here. It's been pretty, pretty split. Good runs to bad runs, but field position has been an issue for offense and defense. Kyle Curtis will call the play. See what formation they line up with on first and ten. Two running back formation, Lila and Reagan. Curtis will hand it off to Lila, looking to the outside. Lila getting a block, cutting back in, still breaking tackles. So a strong run there, but no gain again for Belmont. Second and ten now for the Marauders. Curtis comes back on the field. Got to get the pass game going. Especially coming from behind, it feels like you're forced to go with the deep shots, but you got to be patient. Second down and ten. Curtis tossed to Leela this time on the other side, and Leela gets drilled at his own 25 yard line. Loss of three or four. Third and long next for Belmont. Probably just a loss of a yard. Ford Progress helping out the Marauders that time. Third and 11. And they're going to call timeout. Belmont could not get the playoff in time. Maybe just want to re rethink their play on a big third down and long with seven minutes left in the first half. It's going to have to be a comeback for Belmont trailing 21-0. Belmont will get the ball to start the second half. Feels like if you just get one touchdown in this first half and you hold Winchester at 21, give yourself a fighting shot in the second half. You don't know what halftime changes there will be, but hopefully for the better for the Marauders. Belmont likely calling a new play here on third and long. And they send their offense back on. Third and long for Kyle Curtis. Haven't seen too many Shots down the field for Belmont so far. We've seen Winchester had success with the deep ball today.
And now, third down for Belmont. Curtis takes the snap. He's going to look to throw. He evades the pressure, rolls out. He's going to scramble. Curtis to the near side. Now cuts back in. He is wrapped up. Winchester rallying into the ball there and forcing another Belmont fourth down. And they are going to punt again. With under seven minutes in the first half. It's 21-0 Winchester. Jack Townsend will boot. His last punt was a good one. If you're sending it over the head of Gianni DiPremio, you feel good. You don't want to get him in space. Two returners back deep for Winchester. DiPremio is one of them. It's on the near side at the 40. Decent snap, Townsend boots it away. It will land at the 44, and a boot goes over the head of DePremio, all the way down inside the 20. DePremio fumbles it, it's loose at the 15. It's still loose, and Winchester falls on top of it at the, their own 15. Still a really good punt from Jack Townsend. He nearly got the fumble as DePremio tried to come back and grab it. He never got it, it was loose in a kind of a rugby scrum, and Winchester fell on top of it. First down and 10 for Winchester. Good field position for the Belmont defense. This is where Winchester relies on their run game to get them down the field. Premio the back to the right of the quarterback. Picks up his mouthpiece off the ground, puts it back in his mouth. First down and 10. Gonna run to the outside and getting blockers again is Winchester. The quarterback draw working, and down the sideline goes O'Connell for the second time. He's chugging down the sideline all the way to the end zone. Winchester again. The quarterback draw working for a long touchdown, and it's 27-0 Winchester midway through the second quarter. O'Connell just kept it going. Seemed like he was going to be forced out of bounds. You could see him kind of losing stamina as he was chugging down the sideline. He never ran out of it. Belmont could not catch him. And the extra point would make it 28. Extra point on its way, and it is good. Four for four on extra points. Four touchdowns. Through a quarter and a half here at Harris Field. Been all too familiar of a feeling for the Marauders. It's the first half. I mean, the second half, you haven't seen as much scoring numbers with opposing team trying to run out the clock, but still a lot of time left for Belmont. 28 nothing. Winchester on top. Broadcast brought to you by Belmont Media Center, Channel 9 on Comcast, Channel 25 on Verizon. Ball spotted at the 40, Belmont. It's Correa and Reagan back deep to kick return, and the ball falls off. They'll have to replant it. Windy day here at Harris Field. Might need someone to hold this kick. And just gonna try it again, try to wedge it into that holder. Looks like it'll stay on. 538 left in the first half. Belmont getting the ball back. Kickoff is away. Lands at the 15 where Correa will return it. Coming in on the near side. Still breaking free, then he gets shoestringed just past the 30. So good return by Lincoln Correa. Belmont could just get one of these deep balls, one of these big plays to go their way. Really spark this 
run for Belmont that's been mostly negative so far in this game. Reagan and Leal are both in at running back. Pierre's on the bottom. Hendrickson out top. Hendrickson one on one. No safety help. Curtis wanted to throw that way. Then he got pocket just broke down and he has to go down at the 30. Seems like he wanted Hendrickson on a wide receiver screen, but couldn't see him. Pressure was just too much. And now second down and long. Winchester's been getting lots of pressure in the pocket immediately on these snaps. If you give Curtis some time to let his arm loose, Belmont would easily be getting down the field. Curtis takes the snap, going to throw to the outside. Hendrickson comes back and gets it, but he's taken down at the line of scrimmage. Third and long for Belmont. Trying to get the ball in Hendrickson's hands. Haven't seen as much of the jet touch passes or passes behind the line of his, as we've seen in past weeks with Belmont getting their quarterback back and Kyle Curtis. Two plays, it seemed they want the one Hendrickson on a screen pass. Second time they got it to him, but it didn't work. So you're having to deal with a third and long again. Third and about 12. Jerkson on the bottom. Elijah Pierre out top. Lila is the back. They fake it to him, and Curtis is taken down. He wanted Hendrickson for the third time, and he's dropped at his own 25. It'll be a fourth and long for Belmont. Jack Townsend has to come out again. Seeing Jack Townsend come on has been all too familiar for Belmont in this game. Three and a half left in the first half. Winchester getting it back. You never know if Belmont get this ball back in the with time still remaining before halftime. Hopefully your defense can at least set you up for success in the second half by holding them here. Townsend will punt. Two Winchester players back deep. Townsend boots it. Will be returned by De Premio on the near side. And off he goes down the sideline. Punter to beat. Belmont's able to get there at the 25 yard line. So Winchester starting a couple yards short of the red zone. And with not much time left in the first half, you hate to have field position be like this. You want to get a couple stops on first and second down and then just let the <laughs> clock bleed out. Said Winchester, it's the goal line in their sights. We'll have first and 10, the Belmont 23 yard line. We're actually going to spot this at the 25, so for still first and 10. Premio is the back to the right of the quarterback, O'Connell. He's going to throw. Belmont was there initially, but another broken tackle. Winchester takes it the distance. Their fifth touchdown of this first half on the wide receiver screen. And it will be 34-0 Winchester. So one play on the drive after the great punt return. Setting up the extra point to make it 35-0. It's up and good to make it 35-nothing. Belmont getting it back very quickly. Normally say they're not giving their offense time to uh, time to breathe, but they've been off the field so quickly, coming back on. 
Big plays from Winchester have been the story of this game. In this first half still. Two and a half left. Belmont indeed will get the ball back. Winchester kicks it. Lands at the five. Reagan will return it. Coming to the near side, looking for a block. Winchester chasing him to the sideline. Out to the 30. Decent return there for Reagan. He's been getting them consistently past the 30. Start their drives. I'd love to see a first and 10 player. Just get the positive gain. Get five or six. Get the defense going uphill. Correa comes in at running back. Just sending Reagan out as a receiver. Leela out as a receiver. Both of them see in action. It's a running back and receiver. Curtis going to the outside. He's got a block from Hendrickson. And then he just slides down gets hit late after the play. He wants a flag and he won't get one. Seems like that should have been a late hit on Winchester. I mean, Belmont... Close to having numbers on the sideline. Fendrickson holds his block and then Curtis is able to get around the corner. Might see one of those big runs that Winchester's quarterback has gotten so used to. First and 10 for Kyle Curtis. A minute and a half left in the first half. Curtis takes the snap, he's gonna roll out again to the near side. Curtis looking for a block, goes right into traffic. And he's out to the 36. Make it third and manageable for Belmont. Not too much time left, coming up on a minute remaining before halftime. I'd say Belmont's playing this more slowly than they normally would. Not trying to give the ball back to Winchester offense with time to time to work with in the half. Third down. They're down in five for Curtis. Lincoln is the back. Two receivers on the bottom, two on the top. Curtis is gonna throw. Curtis is gonna roll to the near side. He's got a block. Curtis is gonna get out of bounds near a first down. See if they give it to him. Belmont wants the first, they're gonna give it to him. So Belmont gets their first first down of the game with 26 seconds to go in the first half. Seems as if Belmont's just gonna let this clock run out. Kyle Curtis able to use his legs. I think all the plays on this drive have been Curtis runs, but he gets them the first. This is going to be the last play of the half if they do get it off. Five seconds. Curtis will snap it as the time expires. Just hands it off to Correa. Solid run. He's taken down at the 45, and that will end the first half. Is Correa a little shaken up after the play? He'll get himself to the sideline. Get Belmont to halftime. It's 35-0. Winchester, Belmont. Able to get some positive plays on the last drive. We'll get the ball to start the second half. It's a Belmont Media Center broadcast. I'm Isaac Moretta. See you in the second half.
We welcome you into the second half here at Harris Field. Belmont trailing 35 to nothing to Winchester. Belmont returning the ball to start. Kickoff is underway, so is the second half. Correa gathers at the 10. Coming to the outside, Correa is down near the 30 yard line, which has been consistent to where Belmont has been starting their drives in this one. Second half for Belmont, interesting to see what they do with the offense. If they run back Kyle Curtis, if they run back someone else at quarterback. So Beaumont's got it, start the second half. Looks like that's going to be Jason Zhao in at quarterback, not Kyle Curtis, and it's a timeout to start things by Belmont. So it's still 11.54 on the clock, six seconds in. First timeout from Belmont. So this is kind of, even if you're not gonna come back and win this game, you just see what you have with your backups, the starters still, going to next week's game. Gonna have some positive energy coming in there. Going back on the road next week. It's thumping here in Belmont. It's interesting, Kyle Curtis still on the sideline for 44 Jason Zhao in at QB. We've seen Belmont put a receiver at quarterback before. Belmont will start at the 25. So that will take the snap, hand it off to Reagan. And a double reverse coming to the near side is Leela. Stiff arms a man, then goes down at his own 20 yard line. Ford Progress will make it second and about 12 for Belmont. Got their first first down to end of the first half. Second one, try to get this drive going and get Belmont on the scoreboard. So still in at quarterback. Correa at running back, so I'm a little shaken up to end the first half. Seems to be okay. And he's, Zao's gonna pull this one out, come to the outside, get a block, and then go down. Maybe back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be third and long for Belmont. Especially for Winchester. I mean, you still see most of their starters in the game. Maybe it's a fourth quarter thing. You put the backups in if the score is still you know, over 30, like it is right now. Third down for the Marauders. You'd expect to throw normally here, but I wouldn't be so sure that they're gonna really air this ball out much the rest of this game. Zhao comes back in, QB. Correa behind him. We saw more the Regan Leela combination in the first half. Start this drive in the third quarter. It's been Lincoln Correa. Now it takes the snap. He's going to look to throw and stand in the pocket. Loses the football and Winchester's on it. At the 15 yard line of Belmont, Winchester will start on a strip sack. Zhao's first possession in at QB ends in a fumble. Kind of just see he's standing in. I mean, he's being strong in the pocket, which is what you want. But when it breaks down like that, coming from his blind side, making a play on the football. Winchester now has it in the red zone to start their first possession of the second half, under 10 minutes left in the third quarter. See if we still see O'Connell in at QB in second half it looks like looks like we will Gianni DePremio being in signifies starters are in he's in the backfield on first and ten nearing the goal line on the first play DePremio 
Breaking tackles. You can see he's driving those legs forward even though he gets hit. Gains about five. That's what you want from a running back. And flag or a timeout down on the field with the player injured. Looks like that is the premio, which would be a massive loss for Winchester. You hate to see that, especially in a 35 to nothing game. Belmont player is going down to a knee. Any concern? The premio and this. Winchester Teep. Premio is still down on the field. Just under 10 minutes left in this third quarter. Gonna make his way off the field. Help from the trainers, walking under his own power. Just hate to see injuries like that. So second down for Winchester. They were not looking for talking about we might see the backups in the second half. Hate to see the injuries in those situations. Second down for Winchester. Connell remains in. Running back to his left. Three receivers on the bottom, one on the top. Connell's gonna run it right up the gut. And O'Connell cuts back to the middle, dives towards the goal line. And he is in. Touchdown, Winchester. O'Connell gashes it in with the run. Diving effort towards the goal line. Get that extra yard. And the extra six points for Winchester makes this a 41 to nothing game. Extra point on its way, and a line drive kick is good. It's 42 nothing. Red and black dominating this game here at Harris Field. Belmont, two plays and a fumble on their opening drive on offense in the second half, and then Winchester, two plays and a touchdown. Belmont would fall with a loss to 0-4. Winchester looking to move up to 3-1 on the year. They have looked dominant through four weeks, taking the first loss on opening night. It's been up ever since for the Red and Black. Belmont will receive with 8.5 left in the third quarter. About 20 minutes left in the game.
Winchester had 10 on the field, sending on man number 11, and the ball is down again. To replant it. As the wind continues to blow in to Harris Field. This is a Belmont Media Center broadcast. Under eight minutes left, third quarter. Winchester kicks it away. Correa gathers at his own 10. He's running down the sideline, gets hit. Walks himself out of bounds, just past the 20 yard line. So Belmont's offense comes back out. Offense back on the field seems like Kyle Curtis's day at QB is done. Likely don't want him to get injured. Taking taking some shots in that first half with the pressure breaking down. Looks like it will be Jason Zhao for the rest of this game. Correa is the back. Pierre's on the bottom. Two on the top. High snap taken in. Gonna hand it off to Correa. Coming to the near side. Correa's down at the 30. A good run there. Gonna get him near first down. And it'll be second and short. Lincoln's looked good in this one, his highest workload of the year. I think he would have gotten that regardless of the score with the injuries to Belmont's offense. Defense too. Second down and short. Second down and a yard. Belmont trying to pound it forward for their second first down of the game. Correa is the back, I'd give it to him here. Zhao is going to throw to the outside. Catch is made by Pierre, trying to get him involved. That should be enough for the first down, and it will be. Elijah Pierre with the catch and the first. Is it 42? First down and 10 for Belmont. Elijah Pierre getting the job done. They had been mostly aiming towards Hendrickson in that first half, but they get Pierre the ball and good things happen. Correa the back on first down and 10. Zhao takes the snap. He's looking to throw to the outside and a low throw. Zhao got hit as he threw, looking for Damian Leela. An injured Belmont team looking to fight here in the second half with under five minutes left in that third quarter. Correa the back on second down. And the flag before the snap. It's a false start for Belmont. Second and long now. Second and 15, so comes back in. Winchester's been able to break through Belmont's O-line consistently on this drive. Got to get this offense running downhill. Zhao will hand it off. Correa's got the outside corner. Correa down the sideline, cuts back in. He dives, and he's near another first down. Lincoln Correa showing some. There's a flag down on the play. Correa, another good run as we check the penalty. Looks to be a hold on the offense. So that moves Belmont back even more. It'll be a 10 yard penalty and a third and, or second down still and 24 to go for the first. Hey, make, make sure Cassidy knows that Elijah has no TV. 
So a second and a mile here. It's three minutes left in the third quarter. If I were Belmont, I'd still be running this football. That's what you've seen, even with the hold from, from Lincoln Correa showing a burst that we have not seen from Belmont today. Hendrickson and Regan on the bottom. Two receivers on the top as well. So with the leg kick moves Pierre in motion. He's going to throw. And he holds the football up as he breaks a tackle still. And now taking a sack inside the 10. Belmont moves back even further. Good job by Zav to break off the sack. But it seems like you need to throw that ball away. Makes it a third and 29 for Belmont. Just say it's pretty far from the first down. And a third down, two minutes left in the quarter. It's 42 to nothing with Winchester on top. They have been rolling the last three weeks. Continues here in this one. Belmont going in the opposite direction. Belmont trying to escape their own end zone on third down. Zao will hand it off to Correa. He gets stonewalled. He's still pushing forwards. And he breaks a tackle. Pushes into the second wave. He's down to the 20. It's plays like that that make a difference in what you see next week. It's not going to be a first down. And it's not likely not going to be a comeback win for Belmont. But when you get runs like that from initially your backup running back, might change things in the depth chart for next week. Punning units on. Uh, yeah, Townsend is out there. Winchester sending just one returner out. As Townsend will punt from his own 10. Promising drive ending up in the same result as we've seen today. Punts away, it lands at midfield and rolls inside the 40. Near the 30, 35 yard line is where Winchester will take over. As that should end this third quarter, Winchester winning the third 7-0. Winning the game as of now, 42 to nothing. Ten seconds left in the third. Winchester does not need to snap it. Get up to the line. Maybe just try to draw Belmont offsides. Belmont's not even lined up. And that ends the third. 42 nothing. Winchester. See you back in the fourth quarter where Belmont going to gain some positives. Isaac Moretto, see you in the fourth. Fourth quarter here, Harris Field, Belmont, Massachusetts. Winchester will start with a first and 10. Two receivers on the bottom, two on the top. Running back to the right of the QB. First play of the fourth is a handoff. Up the middle, breaking free, Winchester, past midfield. Flag flies as he's inside the 40 and still breaking free at the 32 of Belmont. There are multiple flags down. And see if this one's coming back. Winchester moving in the opposite direction. Likely a hold. Is a hold on Winchester and moves him back, way back and where they would be without the flag. First and long coming up. Call continues to run down to 11 minutes left. Winchester, they're taking their time getting these plays in. They've had big plays all day when they've needed them. 
Look for one here on first down. Still first and ten, which the yardage gain keeps them there. Another handoff. It's pushing the pile forward near midfield will be second and medium. Gotta hope for Winchester that running back's okay, was injured earlier in the second half. Belmont's defense, just looking to stand tall. Here in the fourth quarter. Gonna give Winchester a first down. There's a penalty on Belmont. Added to the end of the run. Given Winchester a first down and ten. Three receivers on the bottom, one on the top. Snap taken option, they hand it off. Belmont's got him in the backfield. No gain on the play. Maybe a loss of a yard or two. Belmont's defense strong there, and it'll be second and long. Nine minutes left, fourth quarter. It's 42 to nothing. Winchester, they have the ball. They're just past midfield and looking to add to their lead. Second down. Another handoff right up the gut. Good run there. Third and short will be next. Winchester still getting good runs even without their starting running back. They're hoping to have him back next week. But we'll see what injury status is there. The third and short. Even for Winchester, even with this lead, if your running back is out for a week or two, you want to see who's your who's your backup, who's going to stand out late in this game. Third and short. No man's land, can't really kick a field goal, can't really punt it. Going to hand it off and get the first down anyway. Right up the middle, Correa is there at the 20. Winchester gets another big play and a fight's breaking out. At about the 30, multiple flags flying in. So we see what happens here. Seems like two players kind of got tangled up and then punch was thrown. It's under eight minutes left in a 42 to nothing game. Penalties on both sides. Still first down for Winchester as it was after the play. Seems like two of them on Belmont, one of them on Winchester, so that's a positive gain for Winchester, even after the play. The 21 of Belmont, first and 10. A lot of time ticking off here between these plays, seven minutes to go in the game. Been all runs on this drive. See if they go to the air or they're just happy to pound the ball. They're going to run on the near side. And that's a good tackle and the ball is out and Belmont's on top of it. Belmont forces the turnover on the run. That's just a great hit. Forcing that football free and then falling on top of it. Belmont will take over exactly what they were looking for on defense to make a positive play happen it's what they got 615 left you're gonna hang on whatever you can in a 42 nothing deficit offense comes back out if you don't force a turnover there you don't know if you're getting the ball back offensively with the way that Winchester was chewing up clock Belmont's offense coming back on the field. Just a clean hit. Clean fumble, clean scoop. 
no one really contesting Belmont to fall in that football after the fumble. First turnover of the day for Winchester. They've had some, definitely had some negative plays. Do you remember that bad snap that moved them back? The high snap on the punt. The first, first turnover for the Winchester offense. Belmont has two of them on their side, an interception and a fumble. Taking a long time to get this play in. New quarterback is in, that is Gavin Swanson for Belmont. And he fumbles his first snap and he's just he's going way backwards. So Swanson comes in the applause of the crowd but it's not much better than we've seen from the team today moves him back snaps have been a problem for both sides in this one it's been better since that first quarter second and long for Belmont completely new group in for the offense Swanson takes the snap, hands it off. No, he's going to keep it. Swanson coming in the near side, and he dives forwards. It's near the 20-yard line. A solid play there from Gavin. Third down coming up. Third and long for Belmont. It's two yards past, past the, behind the original line of scrimmage, making it a third and 12 for Gavin Swanson. Takes the snap, hands it off, coming up the middle. 22 yard line, be fourth down. See if Belmont just says, why not go for it? Seems as if the punting units come back on. Jack Townsend is on for the punt. He's had some good ones today. It's really been when he's been able to boot it over the head of the returner that he's gotten the friendly rolls and gotten the Belmont, gotten Belmont's defense good field position to work with. Low snap, Townsend takes it and gets it away cleanly. It's over the head, bouncing sideways at the 40, then coming back. Taking a Winchester hop. Downed at about the 45 as is, is a flag down. The end of that one. Under two minutes left in the game. 42 nothing. Winchester has not been any points scored in this fourth quarter. Flag is on Belmont on the punt. Be first and ten for Winchester. Offsetting penalties there. First down and ten. Minute twenty left. First down and ten. Winchester will likely run this clock out. Low snap, running back wanted to pick it up. He has it and he's gonna be wrapped up in the backfield. Second and long, Winchester will only have to run one more play and then the clock will hit triple zero and Winchester will have their third win of the year.
30 seconds left. The game's final play. Be the best formation in football. Gonna kneel it. So there's the knee, there's the game. Winchester, the red and black are gonna take the W here at Harris Field, a 42 to nothing final. Winchester dominant today, Belmont takes their fourth loss in as many games. That's gonna do it for Isaac Moretta. I'm Isaac Moretta, and that's the final here at Harris Field. This is the Belmont Media Center broadcast. Thank you for tuning in.